Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Um, like to mention if you want to join me on my stream, which is the recap of, there is a link in my description and also in the pinned comments uh, on the Good Free Photos channel. That's my backup channel where I'm streaming. Also, I have a new um, crypto channel. It's called Crypto Daily Updates. That will encompass all the day's great crypto news into one single video. If you want to get all your information in one place, check out Crypto Daily Updates. Now let's actually get on to the recap. First of all, we're going to talk a little bit about the economy. Russia and Saudi Arabia, like I've mentioned in an uh, earlier video, has had a spat. And the original kind of like conference agreement that was supposed to happen on Monday is now been delayed until Thursday. And there's a lot of tension between Russia and Saudi Arabia. Russia still wants to keep the um, oil prices low to kill off American shale because America, a lot of American shale companies aren't profitable at under $50 and they can't sustain long term so they want to kill off competition and then raise prices back up whereas saudis they just want to raise prices back up right now they don't care so much about killing off the shell uh, information there's been a spat between the two there was an agreement but i think that's been shelved and hopefully they can get something on saturday but because of that i do think oil futures will actually tank on monday that means the market will probably go down and we're wondering if crypto will go down crypto hasn't shown the exact uh correlation with the stock market so it's actually holding pretty strong right now. And the effects of the recession, there was like the first hit effect where like, you know, once everything started collapsing, it started reacting as well. But since then, it's actually held up pretty well. I'm, we're wondering like once people actually start running out of money, uh, once like, you know, the jobless numbers really come in, will that actually affect crypto as an asset? Will people actually sell out? We'll have to see. I'm still not buying back in right now with my other 30%. I'm still holding that in USDC and waiting for a price drop because I still believe that will actually happen. It's anyone's guess, but I think there's a good chance that will actually happen. So that's the news with the economic stuff. So Tron has um, Tron has this Just app now, and that's their DeFi app. And Justin Sun says Just stands for Fair and Just. I actually think Just stands for Justin Sun. So I think that's a bit of an ego play right there, but it does fit in well with fair and just. Uh, they want this to be the DeFi system of choice um, and they're touting it as a better performing version of MakerDAO, which is true. They, it does perform better than MakerDAO because they do process more transactions per second. Um, I don't know if they're going to get how many, how they're going to get people to use this DeFi platform, but it actually bears one of the same risks as Ethereum, as all DeFi platforms do, is that if Tron actually goes down in price, if What's backing the stablecoin goes down in price, it could actually liquidate. So be aware of that. MakerDAO has obviously the same problem, as well as the Binance DeFi project as well. So that is Tron's new launch. It is basically like it's supposed to work like MakerDAO, except it's not it's supposed to scale a lot better than MakerDAO. Cardano is rebranding, and what that means is they talked with McCann and they're going to rebrand. They want to launch the rebrand along with the Shelly launch. So that's probably gonna happen in May or June. What the rebrand is, the, the real information they leaked is they're going to rebrand and redo their website. Hopefully they get a new logo, logo because I don't really like the Cardano logo. I think it could be much, much cooler. I think Cardano's logo is probably one of the worser logos. Um, it's not as bad as like EOS's logo, which looks like it was drawn by like a five-year-old, but they could, it definitely could use some improvement. Um, I also want to talk about that just mentioned that Theta actually has partnered with Cause.tv. Cause.tv is a video like content platform and Theta has partnered with them to stream their content as well. So that's pretty cool for all you Theta fans. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.